Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we have learned about the CSS transitions and the CSS animation and also the difference between the transitions and animations. These are all the things we have learned it. Now here we learn about the angular animations. So let's try to learn about this angular animations thing. So in order to learn this angular animation, so let's try to learn it. So the main angular modules for the animations are, are angular animations and the angular slash platform browser. So when you create a new project using this one CLI, automatically this one will be created. So if you try to see here, you know, things, so uh, automatically these things will be added. So these pro the, uh, automatically this will be added in your package.json. If you try to see here, angular animations and angular platform, these things will be automatically added. Angular platform browser and angular animations. So these two are responsible. These are the main angular modules for doing the animations. So I already told you, right, when you create a new project using the CLI, these dependencies are automatically added to your project. And another one, what I want to tell you is that to get started with the Angular animations into your project. So first we need to import the Angular specific modules along with the standard Angular functionality. So what are these Angular specific modules is the first one is the browser animations module. So which introduces the Angular, Angular animation capabilities into your Angular root application module. So let's go to the uh, app.module.ts so here you need to import the main thing that is browser animations module so here you will not able to get it but here let's we need to import it from import browsers animation module browser animation module so it should be imported from so let's try to read from at the rate angular slash platform browser slash animations so from here we need to import it and this one comes browser animation module yeah that's it this is the first step what we need to do in order to have a angular uh, anime ang animations to work in the angular so when you are using the angular animations package so now before learning this one what i will try to do is i will create a new project nggc animation okay so this is our component i'll create a new component with this component, we'll try to learn the basic steps for importing the animation functions and all those things. So what are the animation functions that are available? What we can use it in our component? So before before uh, starting, we'll try to, let's try to learn these all the things. Here the animation component has been created. Let's go to the app routing, app routing dot module. Here I will create a path, simple path animation. So path, if anybody comes to the animation, then we need to load the component animation component okay animation component fine so we have imported this component everything is working fine now uh, let's go and type the slash animation whether we are able to see the output or not so i am not adding anything so this is this is just for our uh, understanding about the animation yeah here you will be able to see animation works so fine so now <clears throat> in our component file if you try to see our animations animation component.ts file yeah here so this is our component file right so now in order to implement the animation first let's try to take a simple div in our animation.component.html i will try to take, take a simple div div id is equal to simple we'll have it and for this one if you want to add a css so here you will take the hash simple and you will add it something like width with 100 pixel and also you will add the height of 100 pixel and you would add a background color of red so this is normal thing if you try to see we will be able to see one box here so fine everything is working fine but i need to this is a simple css right but i want to implement this one through the animations through the angular animations package for this one if you want to implement it what you need to do is in your angular dot animation dot component dot ts file so you have a extra metadata you have another metadata uh, metadata property that is animations so here you'll be able to see animations so this takes an array okay so this takes an array so you need to trigger that uh, trigger the definitions and animation here you need to add the triggers thing so what is this trigger concept so you need to be having a doubt about the trigger concept so before learning about this trigger concept so we need to understand some concept so let's learn some of the concepts about this one before proceeding into the uh, animations thing so i will tell you some concepts so if you go to the notepad uh, if i open the notepad here so the notepad has been opened so in this notepad first that uh, the angular functions you need to learn is the trigger okay 
trigger. So what does this trigger do is it creates a named animation trigger. Okay, it creates a named animation. So that means you will be creating a named animation that we, that needs to be triggered. So in this one, it will consist a list of state and a transition. It consists of a list of state and transition. We'll learn about the state and transition also. State and transition entries to be evaluated when the expression bound to the trigger changes. The syntax for this trigger is trigger. So you need to give the trigger name that will be unique one and you will give the definitions. So this come this uh, this belongs to the animation metadata of type. So this could be an array of this thing. So this is the thing. So this is how you'll be having and this contains an array of state and a combination of state consists of a list of state and also a transition. That is one thing you need to learn. Now you uh, you understood about the trigger trigger method. So this will trigger whenever you are having a element or anything and you want to have an animations implemented you need to fire the you need to have a trigger thing it consists of a unique name and also a list of it's an array array of states and animation or transition you can say what is this one you'll try to learn it now you want you understood about a state right so let's try to learn about the state concept so what is this state in the animation thing so anime state is nothing but what I can say is it declares an animation state within a trigger attached to an element. So in the trigger it defines the state. So this syntax for this state is you will be having something like a uh, unique name. So this one also consists a name and also you will be mentioning the styles array styles object. Okay styles object you will be having and another one you will be having options and all those things params you will be having. We will try to learn afterwards. So you will be having list of styles and a state. So you can have an array of states this one all. And the another one what I want to discuss you about is one is the transition. So what is this transition? So this one we have learned right transition. So transition. Okay. So this transition declares an animation transition which is played when a certain specified condition is met. So transition consists of something like what I can say is expression. Okay. State change expression. I will discuss about this one. And uh, that's something like a from state to to straight to state like that. So here states you will be having the different types of state. So from which state to which state you need to tell the expression and also you will be having an animate method. So that is nothing but animate method you will be using. So oh sorry animate method here that defines this one. So we will learn about this animate thing also. So this is all about the concept which I want to tell you. So now let's try to implement this one in our project. So here what I have told you this animations you will be having it right. So this is the animations thing which you need to implement it. So in this animations what I have told you. So we need to have a trigger here. So you understand one thing an animation requires a trigger so that it knows when to start. So that is the main thing. So the trigger function collects the list of states and also transition. So for example here you need to have a trigger method. So trigger is nothing but is nothing but what I can say is every animation requires a trigger. So what is the state? what is the present state and which state it needs to trigger to which state it needs to trigger. So here you will be having a trigger method. This should be imported from the angular animation. So here import trigger from the angular animation. So here I am importing all the things trigger state style transition animate which we will be using afterwards. So this should be imported from the animations angular animations. So this trigger function collects the state and transitions. So it collects the list of all the states and the transition and gives the animation a name so that you can attach it to the triggering element in the HTML template. So here you will be having something like a unique name. So the trigger function describes the property name to watch for the changes. So here what I can say is here you will be having a unique name. So let's say that clicked state. So you will be having a clicked state. This is the name which I am trying to mention it. And here you will be having the array of styles. So as I already told you right it consists of a list of states and the transition. So the trigger function what it will actually do is it describes the property name to watch for the changes. When a change occurs the trigger initiates the actions included in its definition whatever the definition will try to mention when a change occurs it will trigger the actions. So these actions can be transitions or other functions as we will see on later on with these all the things you will see. So this is the thing about the trigger function. So these all array means it consists of a list of states and the transition we will try to discuss in this one. So this is how this is what about the trigger thing and this is how we will be starting the animation. Afterwards we will try to learn about the state and the styles and all those things we will try to learn afterwards. So what I will do is I will commit this all the code in our new video. So up to here I will create a new branch video hyphen 24 okay and in this one what 
what I will do is so here I will commit this code angular animation so we have learned about the trigger concept trigger why will be using the trigger thing let's commit this all code let's publish this branch so whoever may be having doubts and all those things so they can refer to my github repository URL so the github repository URL is provided in the description below of every video and you can go to that particular video bench uh, video branch whichever the video you're watching and you can refer to the code what i am trying to explain it hope you understood about this angular animation basic thing about the trigger function uh, what are the concepts what are the things available in this trigger function we'll try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you